Hello and welcome back to GameSpot's continuing E3 coverage. It is day one and this morning we had a Nintendo Direct where we had the uh, the lovely Miyamoto-san revealing more from Star Fox Zero. And with me is Ali Rapp from Nintendo Treehouse and we also have this lovely lady off stage demoing the game for us. Uh, Ali, let's talk a little bit about Star Fox. He's back. Yeah. Star so Fox is back. Fox McCloud is back. Uh, peppy hair, Slippy. Everyone loves Slippy the whole team. for some reason. <laughs> Falco. Um, yeah, and they're back and they're uh, going up against Andros. Yeah. So, you know, just kind of um, a lot of things that you love from the, from the old Star Fox games are back, but um, it plays completely differently. So it's going to be a completely new experience for people who've grown up with it and, of course, yeah. for people who maybe didn't grow up with it. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm going to put my cards on the table <laughs> here. I did not have a Nintendo 64, so... String me up for that later, but this morning, uh, before the hordes descended on the Los Angeles Convention Center, <laughs> I did get a chance to play Star Fox Zero yeah. on the Wii U. So let's talk a little bit about how the game handles, because yeah. it is it is gamepad heavy. Yep. yep. Um, and you have to kind of get to grips with that, and then yep. it all kind of it clicks. So let's talk about what the gamepad brings to. Brings yeah, to yeah. Topics. So we're actually going through the training mission right now. Um, Sarah's playing for us, and what the training mission is showing us is that. You think of it like uh, your um, your ship, your R-wing, controls independently from your guns, okay? And so what you do is you have the gamepad gyro as your gun aiming. Yeah. Um, so if you're familiar with Splatoon, you know, kind of that aiming mechanic. Um, and then you control the ship, the R-wing, with the sticks. And so what you need to do is you need to be looking at the gamepad to aim the guns. Yeah. Um, and then you need to be looking at the TV to steer the ship for the most part. Because the TV is going to give you this kind of like big view of what's going on around the ship. Um, whereas the gamepad view is going to give you more of that like very detailed, okay, I'm hitting that enemy, I'm hitting that obstacle. Um, so it's this really unique use of kind of that dual screen play yeah. um, to make it feel like you're actually in the cockpit of the R-Wing, right? Because that's what the gamepad view is supposed to be, yeah. is the cockpit view. And so, um, you know, of course, you've got the six, you've got the gyro, you've got the dual screen, and then, of course, you've got, like, the button the button moves. Like, you've got your U-turns and your um, your uh, barrel rolls, of course. And uh, oh, Well, of course, it would not be a, a Star Fox game without Without it. the barrel roll. Yeah, the, the barrel roll does return. Um, so right now, you know, the game is just teaching us the basics, um, getting us used to controlling the guns with the gyro, flying around things, target view. Um, so what you can do is you can target onto to an object, um, whether it's your objective or um, like an enemy. And the you'll be able to then kind of fly around in this cinematic view. Um, and I don't think Sarah can hear us or else she would do it yeah. for us. But um, um, So let's talk a little bit about, I mean, how easy it is to get to grips with two at once. Because I found the, uh, like because I I was stupid, okay. I went straight. You're not stupid. Straight into the main mission because I thought I played a lot of games. Uh. I can do this. <laughs> Turns out I couldn't. Couldn't beat the boss. The lovely lady on the Nintendo stand felt sorry for me. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I died in the Corneria boss too. That's was, uh, <laughs> um, so it's just it's it's kind of crazy how well how quickly things can go from being steady, just a nice measured pace, yep. going through hoops. Yep into, oh my god, everyone's attacking me, help me. Yeah, yeah, and so, you know, what we want to do is we want to get give people that that feel for how it feels to control in a, in an open space or on rails before they jump into something like that, yeah. you know, and a boss or yeah. something more tricky like, um, say, maybe Area 3, uh, which is also in the E3 demo. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, listening to how it controls, like, man, I don't know if I can do that. That sounds tricky, you know, that sounds like a lot of things to keep track of. Um, and, you know, it is going to take you a little bit, yep. but once you get it, like you said, it's, it's just like, I get it, right? It clicks. You get it. It, it's, it is intuitive in a lot of ways. Like, when it was presented to me, it was like, you're going to have the hardest time with this. It's so hard. You're never going to get it. Nobody's ever going to get it. We're, everyone is bad at video games ever. And so I went into it thinking that, you know, it was going to be really tricky. But when I picked it up, I thought, hey, this is actually pretty intuitive. I, once I understand that I need to look at both screens yep. and that, that the, the idea that the guns and the ship are controlled separately, then it kind of clicked, right? Like, because, I mean, that's how it would be 
Right, you right. You know what I mean? Like, right, like you don't, in real life, you know, you don't steer your plane where you want to shoot. No. You shoot while you're steering the plane in a different yeah. direction. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, early in the uh, the uh, Nintendo Digital event, uh, Mr. Miyamoto was talking about how we wanted to kind of simulate what it feels like to actually fly the plane, and that's part of it, right? My favorite thing yeah. from that was that he, the idea from Star Fox not only came from the famous shrine that he lived right. by, Isn't that was funny? the fact that he let me watch Thunderbirds. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, you know, the weirdest mishmash weird, of things. <laughs> weird things to come together to create something really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, it's a great story. Um, so yeah, we're in we're in Corneria now, which old Star Fox fans might recognize. Um, there are some familiar things about Star Fox Zero, yeah. uh, which will kind of bring you back. Um, of course, some of the, a lot of the characters return, um, some of kind of the areas. Um, but it really is, especially with the way that you move around this space mm -hmm. and think about the way that you're controlling the R wing. Like it's it's such a different experience. It's a yeah. different way to experience. Star Fox um, in a lot of big ways, so it's gonna be awesome. It, it's, oh, 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 we also have the Walker. Oh wow! I wonder oh, if yes, Sarah of course. can hear let's, us. Um, let's kind of see if we can get Sarah yeah. to show us one of the big things. So yeah. this, well, this was a gameplay mechanic that was cut from the sadly never surfaced Star Fox. So there 2. were there were some. Yeah, I think they were talking about that in the digital event, right? Yep. Talking about how some of those elements, like the Walker, um, you know, are kind of resurfacing. They wanted to share those things with uh, with folks. So let's see if Sarah can. Pick up the walker. She's really, she's really into this. She's stuff. really intense. She, I think she's got it. Um, oh, there we so go. It's, it's kind of nice. Like we see this in games, like obviously uh, Mario Kart 8 yep. has a transformation. Yep. Uh, Sonic All Stars race transformed. Mm. But this kind of gives it like a completely different feel because it obviously not on a track. You're free to run around. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Take the level at the pace that you want. Yeah, so. yeah. The walker's really good for. Um, I actually like it because. It is like it's not quite as fast as the R wing, and it's yeah. a little bit more of a st stable experience. Yes, um, because you're not super worried about like controlling your height, mm -hmm. um, and so if you need to like really focus on taking down enemies who are bugging you up in the air, yeah. especially like in all range mode when you're yeah. flying all around, um, I think it's super great for that. And of course, it's also good for exploring. Like there will be stages later where you, like you go through tunnels, and yeah. you don't want to do that in an airplane, no. so you can go into the Walker transformation. But a nice thing you can do is that if you're in walker mode, you can hover. So if you yep. if you do need to kind of be able yep. to, yeah, you need to get up in the air quickly. Yep. You just kind of pull the throttle. Yeah, back. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some. Um, the, there's the walker can do that. Um, the landmaster returns and has an, a mode sort of like that, um, where you can kind of hover above the ground. Um, there's the gyro wing. So there's a few transformations that you can go and do in the game to kind of, yeah. you know, change it up depending on what kind of stage you're going into, whether it's a more cramped stage or um, kind of a more stealthy stage. So let's talk a little bit about what Star Fox Zero is. So Mr. Miyamoto said, you know, we're, we're pulling things from mm -hmm. old games, but yep. this isn't a sequel. Yep. This is kind of a fresh take, not necessarily a reboot. Right, 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 yeah. So I like to think of it as kind of like a reimagining. So if you're familiar with the Star Fox series and you're a fan, you're going to see a lot of things. You're like, oh, yeah, that gives me feels. You know, I missed that. Um, like like Corneria, like the characters, um, like you know, the rings, things like that. But it it it's not the same. Yeah. And um, like, for example, the boss in the end of Corneria is completely different. Yes. Um, but that's not the only thing, you know, like I like to think about how even if it was a completely same game, which it's not yeah. to any of them, um, the way that you control the R wing is just like so fundamentally different than the yeah. way that you'd control the R wing in, in any of the previous games. It kind that of it's such it a feels, experience. It yeah. feels like it's it's brought it into the modern age in that mm. so it's still gonna hit on all of those nostalgia beats for people yeah. who played the original game yep. uh, on the N sixty four, on the mm. SNES or whatever and but they, it's also accessible enough for new gamers because obviously Nintendo are, they brought motion gaming yep. to the masses. Yep. They're continuing to do so with the Wii U and being able to use the gyro yeah. is just sort of this new intuitive way of yeah. looking at it. Yeah, yeah, I th and I like I love the way that the gyro works. <laughs> I love that it works. Um, uh, I'm the same way with Splatoon. Like you can use the six in Splatoon, but yeah. I actually prefer the gyro. Like it's yeah. quicker, it's more accurate. Yeah. Um, and this, the same goes for the way that it controls with Star Fox Zero. Like, mm -hmm. I love having my R-Wing control with the six and then the aiming be able to have that, like, quicker turn with the gyro. Yeah. Um, it's just, and it's like, if you think about, like, if it were a Star Fox game from the old days, 
and you brought it to just like a normal controller or whatever, like you've got like your four buttons or something, and it's like it feels kind of flat, yeah. right? But now you've got so many new exciting things to learn that I'm just like I'm really excited to pick this up. I haven't really like gotten into a Star Fox game since uh, Star Fox 64. I guess you could count Star Fox Adventure, yeah, <laughs> but not quite. Yeah. A little bit different experience. Um, and so I'm super excited to to uh, get into Zero and to just like kind of relearn what I thought I knew. Yeah, about Star yeah. Fox. So let's talk a little bit about the story. Mm. So Fox McCloud and all his friends return. Yeah. What is the kind of, is this kind of going to be running on the same themes? Is this a story we've seen before? Or is it going to take us in a kind of new unexplored territory? Right, right. So all we know now is that Andros is involved. And Andros is still naughty, naughty pants. And it's uh, up to Star Fox's uh, gang, yeah. good gang to take down Andros, but that's really all we're, uh, well, all we're letting on, on. The only thing you're letting on to. Yeah. Uh, here is the giant boss fight that I mentioned yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's the weaponized flying fortress, <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, so, I mean, let's take a look at how uh, Sarah's gonna yeah, yeah. tackle this. Yeah, and you can actually take this boss down in a couple different ways. Yeah. Um, you can shoot down like all the top guns and make it fall. So I was, I was trying to take out each laser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or what she did is she um, shot down one, and then it toppled one of the sides. Mm -hmm. And what she can then do, let's see if she's going to do it, um, is there's like a little hole that she can go oh, into with is. the walker. Yep. Yeah. And what she can then do is, is do uh, let's see if she can make it. Oh, yes. Nice. Okay. So this is a great, a great example of the, just the transformation and how you can yeah, tackle yeah, things in different yeah, ways. Yeah, and this is totally, this way is totally optional. I didn't know about it until somebody what? at work was like, "Did you know? Did you see <gasps> what?" Um, um, so you can go in and take um, take down the core, which is so. Cool. I mean, we, we've kind of we've said how great the gyroscope is. Can you play it on just the uh, the game uh, the Pro Controller? TBD. 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 <laughs> Teases at Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I strongly recommend. Um, Really uh, spending some time with the yeah. with the gyro because it is like it is a really really cool way to play the game. But um, there was the thing that uh, with Splatoon, someone mm -hmm. had a pro controller and just attached a nunchuck to it, right? Oh, I don't know. I always play with the gamepad. Yeah, I mean, whatever you guys, whatever you crazy folks do. Well, yeah, it's like you're gonna MacGyver it. Oh, Arsh, take <laughs> it down. Yeah, uh, which is there, I mean, I've, I've not seen this before, so. <laughs> But no, I died the first time too. Yeah, yeah oh, it took great. me a while. Oh, and a nice salute. Good Team job, Fox General Pepper. There. I also like to think of, um, I think it was maybe Star Fox 64 when the voices were like, my emperor, you know, yeah. like it was like the shaky voice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite part. I don't think they do that in this one, but. Well, Ali, thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you so much to Sarah for demoing Star Fox Zero for us. When is it out? Uh, I believe it's this. It is later this year. Later this year. I believe. I believe. Check Nintendo.com. The later this year? Holiday. Holiday oh. 2015. Thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure you stay tuned here to GameSpot because we have tons more amazing coverage from E3 2015. Don't go anywhere.